All right, YouTube, we are back playing some Dragon Age here. So before we uh, do the next mission here, let's just take a look around and see what we have here. So I leveled up uh, off camera and uh, checked out how the leveling up system works. And uh, it looks like those classes that we were seeing in the character creation, we can um, basically build out a tree to get to each each section. So you all right? Strange place you've fallen into. But I'll work with it. You know me. Uh, do I? I know Varric wanted you for the job. You know the same about me. It's a start. Eh. Yeah. Uh. Eh, I'm not feeling her. We're not gonna romance her. Not even sure if I feel like romancing anybody this game, unless I meet a character that, I, that I'm really interested in. But so far, she just seems to be like laying on the sexy a little bit too thick for my liking. That's not a lot we got a world to see. We ain't trying to smash you right now. Figure it out. You take a lot of notes. What about? Lately, what we know or knew before Solus changed the game. And it's... Not much. Oh, I thought Actually, that was a boot. Oh, she's she's she, she's an amputee. Mm. We'll figure this out. I'm sure of it. Really? Do you know something I don't? No, we just well, well, we have to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the job. No, we don't got no choice, so. Alright. Alright, so that's what's down there. I'm guessing... Is this anything? I doubt it's the map isn't... Nope. Okay. I didn't think it was nothing there on the map, but I guess it's... Because we haven't been there yet. All right, so this just gonna lead around the corner. Ooh, chest. A painted pot is a valuable item. Somehow I doubt that. This looks like a secret of some kind. With the fire not being there. Imperial weave. What lady left their hair back here? All right. Ooh, missed that. Oops, on a caretaker. All right, so I guess that's it. So I guess we got up there, and then there was over here. Let's see if they let me go in here. Oh, okay. I, I thought she was going to be back where Varric was. What do we do now? What do we do? Harding? Oh, hey, Rook. Uh, how's it going? I should be asking you that. I got you hurt. This is a dangerous job. Everyone knew that signing on. There's so much to do. We have to keep going. Are you sure you're all right? Maybe you should rest. Yes, Rook. I'm fine. This is nothing. I'm just a little dizzy. I'll walk it off. Or something. Harding, you can't just... Oh, yeah? Watch me. We need to get back to the ritual site, don't we? Let's stop worrying about me and go do that. Come get me when you're ready to go. Okay. I can appreciate it, tough lady. Alright, anything else in here? Nope. Alright, let's check up these stairs, and then I guess we can go back inside. Because so I would assume this might lead to something, or maybe may go around. Pure ore. 
Three pairings must meet face to face. Okay, so we got a puzzle. So I guess we gotta turn this to face. Uh, I guess the statue across the way. That's probably what it is. Okay. Okay, I guess they didn't want to do no animation of uh, me turning the thing. Alright, so the other one's there, so I'm guessing we got to face them that way. Or unless it means these. Okay. Nothing over there, so... Maybe we got to make these face each other. Oh, pairs. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay. So, I'm thinking just three statues, but no, it's three pairs of statues. Like, that one's probably got to go to that one. These two. And then, um... Wherever the other two are. Alright, we'll find them. Alright. All right, let's go get this other one over here, and I guess we can keep an eye out for the other pairing. Because they got to be around here somewhere. All right, let's get this one, and then... That's two. All right. Where is the other pair? So I see these, but can't turn those. Hmm. And I don't see anything over there, so maybe they're inside. It's the only thing I can think of. But this might trigger cutscene. Trying to think. Hold on. Do we have a um like a mission thing, codex, journal, something where we can track quests. Journal, here we go. Because if this is the library and it said to enter the library, we got to do this. <laughs> Maybe it's that this is for something optional. See, because this is just, okay, go to the library. But I don't want to go in here if... Maybe I gotta go up to the table, so let me not do that. Let me just do this. Cause like we didn't hit a third pair, so. So unless there's another pair in here, because this is where we came from, so we didn't have to open up a pair to come in here. This is gonna lead back to Varric. Wardrobe. Okay, cool. I was wondering where this was. And who in the hell is this white dude? That is not me. Alright. Try out all these armors here. Let's see. And old school Dragon Age armor. Remember that. Also, remember wearing that in Mass Effect. Hmm, that's not bad. Mm. That's not bad. It's like I like the look, but so far it's the best thing that I'm seeing in here. Or at least what's available. Like, I really like this, but wasn't Reva? No, that's not Reva's thing. That's Reva's. Because I think that was another character. The name, the name is familiar. So this is like the mage version, the knight version, and um, the rogue version. So, I'm guessing it's the same thing. Can I wear this, though? Even though I'm not a mage? Because I like the look, but... 
doesn't screen my character class, but guess we'll wear it. Don't have no helmets. Okay, so we can pick that and casual wear. All right. Um. I would wear this, but I'm not a fan of the way this looks. I, I just don't like that. So I guess I'll wear this until we find something better. At least for our casual stuff. Oh, wait. Do we pick one or the other? Okay, well, I guess we can just wear... Well, we could just wear, you know, we don't have to e equip anything for casual wear. Because I'm assuming if you don't equip anything, you'll just wear whatever you have in the armor. So. Yeah, let's get a special hammer here. Why not? Look the part, you know. Do we got our shield too? Yes, we do. And why not get a sword while we're at it? I wonder why we don't have any helmets, though. Alright. Yeah, might as well give them some different clothes, too. Why not? No point in me having being the only person that looks good. Because I doubt this is going to change anything stat-wise. I'm not seeing any kind of stats or anything. So this is probably just for looks. That's an ugly hat she got on. Yeah, I'll go with this one. All right. Yeah, let me change this. I do not like the fact that I'm a white guy right there. <laughs> it's like I'm black in the world, but white outside. Like, come on. Yeah, I like that better. I got used to it at the beginning of the game, so. All right. All right, if anything clips, I know we can always change it. All right, so let me take another look outside, because, yeah, so far, no statues inside, so. Oh no, game! <laughs> Damn you, fade! <laughs> yeah, that's probably probably because I don't have the game uh, installed to SSD. I remember when I uh, did start the game, it did say that it worked better with SSD, so it's probably not loading quick enough. I know after the first few recording videos, I'll probably just reinstall the game and put it on SSD. So, I'm guessing that's the library, maybe, that it's talking about? So, how many things we got? We got four statues. Two up here, one over there, and one over here. So, they have to have another pair, I would assume. Because it said to enter the library, so I'm guessing this is the library right here. Well, not the library, that's the library, but maybe they open up this here. Or oh, unless it's the workshop, since that's what it's called. Here we go. I knew they had it somewhere. We can see what this is, because if they just let me go to the, um, the library, then maybe this opens up something else in here that's optional. I started doubting myself there for a second. I was like, did, did, did they say three things? Uh, how are we? Guess, is there... Nope. How do we get... I didn't miss you that much. 
How do we get over there where the other statue was? Oh, do we go down here and come back up? That's probably it. Didn't even see this before. Oh, that's going to get old real quick. I hate when they make the interact button the jump button because then it's like, if you're not touching it, it's not going to work. Okay. It's going to make you just jump all the time. Alright, guess we jump back up. Alright, now is that going to do something with this? No. So, what did that open up? So we got all three of them. I figured it would light up this here, but... Is this just screams like something's supposed to be put there? And we did line them up unless they reset. Nope, that one's facing that way. That one's facing that way so they should still be facing each other right, let me get this chest over here spending all day messing around at this at this fade castle all right all right let's go back to the table maybe something opened up back there because yeah that's I don't see anything changing out here and the green whips, wisp of magic seemed like they went back in here, so. Let's see if anything looks different. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. Okay. Well, worst case, we can come back to it. This is probably going to be our hub, uh, hub area, so. I will worry about it later. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here, wherever here is, besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? In my head. Sola showed up while I was out cold to gripe about his breaking's ritual. He's mad about us destroying his ritual? Sounded like it. When the ritual went wrong, he ended up trapped in some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams. Even kill them. I'm not in danger. He can only barely reach me. I bled a little when I got knocked out. So Solus is using blood magic? Like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. I worked with the Veil Jumpers. We study ancient elven artifacts and we've learned a lot of the history. The ancient elves were so powerful that their artifacts are still dangerous thousands of years later. And they're gods? They might not literally be gods, but I can only imagine how powerful they are. All right. Well, we've stopped the ritual, and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild? Those are... Elganarn and Gilanane. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. They're our next target. So we set our sights on a pair of elven gods. Like it's easy. Who else is gonna do it? If they're loose, they need killing. They were evil tyrants who enslaved their people. We need to stop them. Solus says Elganarn and Gilanane drew on the Blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one... God running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. 
We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that, without Varric. And you're still getting back. I feel like the dialogue's repeating. I'm fine. We can't just sit here and do nothing. We need to investigate. Figure out what we're dealing with before we rush in and make things Like, work. this is all stuff that we know. Like, they literally said the same thing twice in the same conversation. Will we spend time investigating? I mean, well, I guess they're both right, so... Um, which one do you like better? <laughs> uh, let's go with Harding. If Elganon and Gillenane are worse than Solus, we don't have time to waste. We need to act now. We don't know what they can do or what they want. We don't even know if Solus is telling the truth. I'm not saying we go in blind. This time, if we see a shot, we take it. All right. The last place we saw them was the ritual site. The Alluvian took us here from the ritual site instead of back to Minrathis. Then let's hope it takes us back. Harding, you okay to go? I'm not going to sit back while elven gods destroy the world because I have a headache. All right, then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. Okay. I can't believe nothing changed. Like, why even give us that puzzle then? Nah, nah, man, I'm curious, YouTube. Like, I don't want to leave because then <laughs> what if I'm missing out on something? Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. No, not that. Story completed. See, this doesn't even mention the about the statues that we moved. Okay. So that's going to be just basic stuff, either story stuff or side quest stuff. Not necessarily puzzles or side things. So I feel like I'm missing something. Because we did it. We, we've seen it do it. But nothing opened up. What's that note that was on here? And of course it's gone. Why would it still be there? Wolf guy, why aren't you giving me anything? I feel like something's supposed to appear. We can't push these things anymore. Uh, okay. Alright. See, how come that note is there, but the other one's not there no more? Hmm, what is that? Is that there before? We did not go down there, because we went down... No, wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's where we went down, okay. I thought that was under this one, okay. Losing my mind in my old age. Alright, I guess we gotta step through. Let's do it! For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. If it even takes us back to Arlefin. <sighs> Hardik, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Well then. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. 
Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... They activate some kind of magic trap? <laughs> it's not working! I can't contain it! Are they bail jumpers? Because they, they, they were kind of dressed like me. They do explore elven ruins Strong. and stuff. Yep. Irulan, what are you doing back in Arlathan? A long story. Isn't it always with you? And did I hear you're going by Rook now? Nev, this is Strife and Irulan. They're veil jumpers like me. Experts in elven magic. I worked with them before Harding and Varric recruited me. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. A bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? Thought you were supposed to stop him. Or did unforeseen complications lead to unforeseen consequences again? Well, you let it go. Yes, the map was destroyed, but everyone walked out of there alive. I told you to wait. If I'd waited for you to make a copy, people would have died. So you ran off on your own, and now we've lost the only way of navigating back to that site. We lost the work put into it. Everything we uncovered, and everything we hadn't. Uh, Solace's ritual? You stopped it? Sky's not ripping itself apart anymore, is it? All right. You stopped Solus. So why is Arleth the neck deep in wild magic? Solus was dragged into the Fade when we interrupted his ritual, but something else got out. Someone else, supposedly. Elganarn and Gilanane. Mithalanest. Two of the elven gods of old. The Evanuris. Shit. If they're back in the world, that explains a lot. So Elganarn and Gilanane are loose. Which means what? You thought Solus was bad. He's a bit of a bastard, true. But next to them, let's just say they weren't known for their kindness. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evanuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. Of all the ancient things to unearth, of course it had to be two of the Evanuris, and of course it had to be you that unearthed them. Ah! Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Luter. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. Then you two get your friend back to your camp, and we'll... <laughs> we'll find Ballara. Harding, I need you to stay with Strife and Irulan, all right? What? No, I'm coming with you. You're a great shot, Harding. You can help the Veil Jumpers here. They need you. <sighs> Fine. Since they need me. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Bellara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. <laughs> 